Hi, if you're here, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and tuning in and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I just wanted to share information and a process on getting your passport back in the same day and any mistakes that you need to avoid in this process. So if it's of interest, then keep on watching. So I'm stopping past CVS to take my photos for my passport. That's part of the application that you'll need. So I'm going inside right now to take my photos for my application. Hi, how are you doing? All right, how are you? Good, can I help you with anything? You step right over here, I can do it for oh, you. Oh, okay. You want to step right in front of the white screen for me? Okay. As if for an actual passport. And how much are they? You know, I have to take it. Uh, $16.99 oh, okay. plus tax. Oh, okay. It comes with two pictures. Okay. Did you want or need any more than the two? No, that yeah. should be fine. Yes. That would just be a minute to print. Okay. Would you like me to cut it for you when it comes oh, out? Sure. Do I owe you extra for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take a dollar. <laughs> no, I'm just Scan the phone now. Scan the phone now. Touch the continue button. It's been 18 months. Okay. You want a bag? Big, big one, please. Oh, please select. 1801. Yeah. 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 This just shows the passport order requirements. Okay. Super excited. I just got my passport photos. My appointment is tomorrow at 9.30. Hopefully everything goes good, so. I'll share the rest of the process with you all if you're still interested, so keep watching. And if you were wondering, that whole process to get my passport photo only took less than 10 minutes, so I'm super excited about that. So fingers crossed that everything goes okay tomorrow, so stay tuned, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey you guys, so it's the next day. I'm rushing. I'm trying to make sure I have everything before I get on the road. The closest agency near me is an hour away. I still have yet to fill out my application, so I'm just trying to make sure I have everything. I need to hurry up and fill out this application. If you can answer yes to all of these questions here, then you're eligible to have an appointment and you can get your passport on the same day. I can submit my most recent U.S. passport book and or card with this application. I was at least 16 years old when my most recent U.S. passport book and or card was issued. I was issued my most recent U.S. passport book and or card less than 15 years ago. The U.S. passport book and or card that I am renewing has not been mutilated, damaged, or reported lost or stolen. My U.S. passport was not limited to less than the normal 10-year validity period due to passport damage or mutilation. Multiple passports thefts or losses or non-compliance with 22 CFR 5141 you can refer to the last page of your US passport book for endorsement information and the last one is my name has not changed since my most recent US passport book and or card was issued or my name has changed by merge or court order and I can submit proper certified documentation to reflect my name change such as a certified copy of a merge certificate or court order so if you answered no to any of those statements, you cannot use this form. And these are just pages of information. So I have my proof of international travel less than two weeks from today. Got a copy of that. And this is the form. It's two papers. And you have to staple your passport photo here. So I need to hurry up and get this done and get on the road.
So I just left my appointment. I got there about 25 minutes late. I was worried that I wasn't able to get my appointment, but I was still able to be seen. But unfortunately, because I don't have travel plans within 48 to 72 hours, I am not eligible to get my passport the very same day so I can come back tomorrow. So I have to drive a whole hour to come back and then drive back home a whole hour just to pick up the passport. So at least you'll know that information now, you know, learning from my mistakes. So hopefully between 11.30 and 3 tomorrow, it'll be ready. That was so unexpected. Okay, day two of trying this. Let's see if it works. Hey, you guys. So I got my new passport. I had to check over it and make sure everything was okay. It's so different, like on the inside than what it used to be, what, 10 years ago when I got mine? So yeah, I'm all set. I'm glad I came back out here today. I was upset that I couldn't get it done yesterday, you know, and I had to drive all the way back here today and then drive back to my town. So anyways, just a few things before I wrap up this video and close it out. So I got the standard passport because I didn't want anything to hinder my process or slow down or delay my process. So I didn't choose the one where you can get 52 pages. It's free of charge. You can get an additional 26 pages with the larger book at no additional cost. So that's just something to think of. You can just check it on the application. Another thing is my passport was expired and it was full. So this isn't my first passport. If this is your first time getting a passport, you will need your birth certificate. I didn't need my birth certificate because I had my old passport. So yeah, that's just another piece of information that you will need. So if you don't have that, I think there is a list of other documents that you can use to prove your citizenship. I'll link the website down in the description below and you can look through that and find out the other documents that you may need. And as I mentioned the other day, I wasn't able to get my passport the same day because my travel plans weren't within 48 to 72 hours. So that's something to keep in mind. So yes, that's the mistake to avoid. I mean, I did get it the very next day, but if you don't want to take that ride, then avoid that mistake and make sure that your travel plans are within 48 to 72 hours or unless you have a life or death emergency situation, which I hope you don't have, but that's another way to get your passport back in the very same day. But of course you will have to prove those. And lastly, I thought that they would mail my old passport back. But once I went to pick up my new passport, they already had my old passport in the envelope with the rest of my information that they were giving back to me. So that's something that you probably won't have to worry about if you wanted your old book back. This has been the process of trying to get your passport in one day. And to avoid the mistake that I made, you can have, I guess, maybe try to set up your appointment within 48 to 72 hours. And that's the only way that you'll be eligible to get your passport the same day and not have to come back again. So anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.